Okay. And for the sake, your name is Lurleen Franklin. Franklin. All right. And you're actually an art teacher. An art was teacher. an artist. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're with high school or middle school uh, right now? Elementary. Lincoln Elementary School. Okay. All right. And how long have you been a, an art teacher? Uh, pretty long time. Elementary, five years. Okay. Uh, High school, two years. Uh, college, uh, five years. I have taught in the college. And before that, I did a lot of special projects and mural projects with uh, kids through uh, Arts Memphis. Okay. And how long you yourself have been an artist, even so, with a kid scribbling? Since I was 16, I was 16. Uh, on a mural project, public mural project with the okay. Cedar Program. Okay. Okay. All right. And first question: Do you mind being referred to as a female artist, or people looking at you as a, a woman artist? Well, there's truth to it. Okay. You know, but there's a lot of other labels that could be attached to me. Okay. You know, so I don't have a problem with you know, say well she's an African American artist, or you know, she's a female artist, or she's with feminine issues. I'm with all of that. All right. But I don't stay fixed in a box. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, with the show that you have here, mm -hmm. what inspired you? Let's walk a little closer to each piece. What inspired you uh, to put these pieces together? Mm -hmm. uh, my interest in general are, has to do with stereotypes. Okay. And that thin line between what's a stereotype and truth. Okay. Um, it's really hard to say because uh, just my subject matter mm -hmm. ranges from the intensely personal to the political to the social. Okay. Um, and sometimes it integrates both. Okay. okay. Now, specifically, uh, with this piece, with the poor baby still stuck in the 60s piece, uh, can you go in a little more detail about this particular piece right here? It's about the state of it. Well, I, I, I painted a picture in 2007. It's about a search for an identity. Some people may say, well, you know, race is not significant anymore. You know, uh, alas, we have a black president. But in fact, I wrote this before Obama was elected. It's like. It's really asking the question when you get the young 60s, where do we go? Martin Luther King, to me, was going towards seeing the issue still, you know, race related, but having to do more with class than anything. And we see that happening politically now. Like they said, the class wars and everything. To be specific towards African Americans, it seemed like the trend was towards who's our leader, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. that that has dispersed, and we're a little lost. We're at a transitioning point. Martin Luther King down. You know, maybe you can toy with the politics of that. Malcolm X, action figure down. Who are our heroes now? Me, 50 Cent, rap singers. We have Al Sharpton and, and, and Jesse Jackson. Well, aren't they being more opportunistic than anything? Okay. okay. Something happened, so let's rush over there and take care of this. Ah. Given the issue may be legitimate, but if there was no so-called conflict, the 
you really have a job? Are you going to let your identity kind of stop there? And personally, this shows like my evolution of thought because all these books that I have on these shelves are actual books that I read, but they're more in order with my spiritual growth. Like I remember in the 80s, I was just discovering all those 1960 uh, revolutionary black power, nigger, Dick Gregory. And all the Richard Wright yeah. and the yeah. Maya Wright. Angelou books of the world right. and Zora Lee, yeah. Zora Neale Hurston and things of that. Yeah. But they kind of serve the point, but I always felt that there was just something, as far as the kind of person I was, there was something that was boxing me in. Not by them, because that is what it is, in terms of uh, what I could do creatively. I was being kind of felt like I was being kind of like subliminally told that I'm only supposed to speak, only supposed to write about maybe race or paint about racial things. This is really one style of my work. I have several styles and I don't limit myself as, as far as subject matters. Okay.